Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Fortunate Son by Credence Clearwater Revival. So this is going to be a kind of a short one, but first you need to get your guitar in the same tuning that he did, which is D all the way across the guitar, so it's in kind of like a standard D tuning. So basically every string on your guitar has to be tuned down a whole step. So the tuning would then be starting on the sixth string, a D, then a G, a C, F, an A, and a D. All right, so get your guitar into that tuning, and then we can uh, be a little bit more authentic with this, and you can follow along with this lesson and the actual recording. So this intro here, we're gonna be sliding into the sixth fret on the G, and then you're gonna grab the fifth fret on the high E, so. Then do the exact same thing, two frets lower. And now we're gonna do a, a hammer on from zero, the open G string, or it's an F now. Hammer on to the uh, second fret, and then, and then play the second fret on the high E string. All right, let those two notes ring together. And now you're gonna hammer from zero to two again. And this time, hit the open string. The first string open. So we have this all together. And then you're going to come down to the third fret on the fifth string, slight bend, and then hit the string open. And let that continue to ring while you continue that lick again. All right, so that's the whole intro there. And then we have the chords to the song, which is pretty much an A major chord, but obviously it sounds like G now. And then we go to this G chord. Now he likes to play it like this, instead of a full bar G, he likes to kind of do it the Hendrix way where he has the, this bar up top here, these two strings, fourth fret on the G, um, fifth fret here on the, the D and the A strings are obviously not those strings anymore since we're tuned down. But, and then the low note is held with your thumb. So you can do that with a full bar chord if you want, if you're more comfortable with that. So we have this. Then to a D chord. And back to the A. Now when he gets to the A, he does a little lick that's kind of random throughout the song, but it's kind of... So that's kind of... That'll bend there at the third fret. And then second fret on the G to fifth fret on the D. Back to that second fret. And then end it with that third fret bend. So we that. So he's always doing some kind of variation those kind of notes right there but you can really just if you want you know it's nothing he doesn't really repeat himself exactly each time all right from there we have the chorus we need a couple different ways to play this we're going to start with the a then the e to the d and then the a now, every time he plays that D chord in the chorus, he does a little, little fill in there. So you could throw that in there if you want, like this. Or you can just go straight to the A, too, like. It's kind of a nice way to do it. So that fill is sliding into the 4th fret on the D, and then the 3rd fret on the B, then a half step on the 4th fret on the G, then playing 4 normal, and then 2. And then after he gets down to 2, he might do, kind of do that again, a little bend again, or he'll come down here to the 4th string. You know, it's really kind of a, a random treatment anyway there too, so it kind of sounds cool to throw it in there though. start over with the chorus. All right, all we have left is a solo. Let me play through it real quick. Here we go. All 
All right, so we had the same uh, little dyad here, those little double stops. So we're sliding into the ninth fret on the G and the eighth fret on the B. Then go back down one fret, pick that again to slide it down to the third fret now, and pick that to slide it up to the fifth fret. So we have this. So that's right. Then repeat it. And then you're back to the verse. All right, pretty quick one today. I'll see you again soon for Guitar Lessons 365.com. Bye bye.